it's very painful a lot of people have lost their traffic after the spam update in today's video i'm going to be showing you guys how to recover from google code update which is going to be practical step and it's going to be very easy for anybody and you can do it by yourself by recovering from google code update with the simple method which i'm going to show in this video make sure you watch to the end because i'm going to be showing a lot of practical step which you can go back to your website and fix it right now and start getting traffic let's go to recover from google cord update we're going to be using simrush to do this work you can use hrs but i'm going to be using simrush to show the practical step how to recover from google cord update which is very simple anybody can do it from your own ending so if you have lost your traffic and you want to get it back after the google cord update which is the recent update you're going to do that using this video so the next thing i want you to understand before i continue with this video do you know that google have an ai tools that help them to dictate spamming keyword and spamming backlink it's called spam brain ai tools so but in this case most times most of us don't know what we are doing wrong within our website that makes our website traffic to be dropped or maybe we lose our ranking so i'm going to be showing how to fix it and get back your traffic the first thing we're going to do is to go to what they call backlink audit now if we move to backlink audit this is the number one thing we need to do facts if we are talking about this recent update because most people who build spamming backlink lose their traffic and a lot of you have built a lot of backlink and you don't really know the one that is toxic link and you don't really know the one google don't like so to dictate those ones that google don't want and you can be able to dissolve them and pick your traffic back let me show you guys what you're going to do if you come to same row just click backlink audit and you can just create a new project put your domain name and put your project name you can keep it blank or maybe put any name you want to put and create a project okay since i've created a project with one of the texting websites that i want to use for this video let me show you guys what you're going to do once you add your project it's going to run a quick check and dictate some of the things you need to fix within your backlink profile now if i click this particular place now now if i open this project they are going to give me list of uh, toxic link the broken links this can cause issue in times of traffic drop let me tell you guys one story before i continue with this let's say for example you built backlink four months ago and google start rewarding you because of that backlink later two months later google decided to run an update to update the whole searching engine then they find out that the site owner have removed the darling that is giving you link juice and also referral traffic your traffic is going to drop and the referral link juice is going to drop because most times it's not it's not about toxic link it's all about losing link you may lose link that is adding potential to your website and you're still ranking with that link juice but once google run an update on their system the link juice is going to fed off because they have already dictated that the link is no longer pointing to your website so most times broken link can just cause dropping traffic and most of the links that is referring to you have stopped referring to you and those links are the main links that google are using to reward you aside from that let's also treat the main issue here so the main thing we're going to do to recover from this google code update which is the recent one that affects a lot of people uh, after checking our link audits we are going, you can be able to see that this website have total number of seven bad and worst uh, backlink so to do this we're going to click it once you run a quick check it's going to be very easy and beginner friendly so what we're going to do is to come here you can easily connect your uh, google console direct to simrush but for me i think um instead of doing that i can easily open the page where this link is pointing to my website copy them out and go to google console and this value but before the end of this video i'm going to show you guys how to this backlink toxic backlink in a proper way but the first thing after seeing the list of the backlink you need to the uh, this value, you copy them out how can you copy it if you click here open it and copy the url and keep it in notepad later we're going to go to google and submit it these are the toxic link that is affecting our ranking so after removing this link we also need to do what they call link replacement you can build new fresh links that is not toxic link but before you conclude in toxic link you can also check your competitors to know if they have the exactly backlink profile you have 
and their traffic is still ranking what you need to look into is your content let me say for example my competitor is uh, makemoneyonline.com and my main domain is um, um, prince.com so in that case if i check my link profile is equals to makemoney.com online.com and they still this traffic is ranking and is ranking better and yeah we have the same backlink profile what we're going to do if we have the same backlink profile is i'm going to consider to check my content and the what my broken backlinks but enough of that let's just move on with what we are going to do after knowing the list of the toxic link packing them and keep it in notepad and you can be able to submit it manually to google and so google can start ignoring that link and stop punishing you because you have that link in your profile let me tell you something before google do this update there's something i want to tell you guys most times you may have a bad bad link profile maybe somebody is linking to you without you knowing but desiring it is just telling google that you're not aware of it and you are ready to make some changes within your website so these are the list of the toxic link in this website that is affecting the website ranking now the next thing we also need to consider when we talk about toxic links you can easily check the ones within medium but for me i think we should leave this one uh presently but we should go the one with the red okay the ones with the red color we can easily take them off within this range which is toxic okay and leave these two a letter if most of these ones that is here move to toxic i can still come back to these tools and fix it by myself by getting those link profile and give google manually which i'm going to be showing you guys how to manually disavow backlink proper so google can just ignore those link without pushing this uh the punishment to your website the next thing you also need to consider when you want to fix this google call update to recover from your traffic is also to check the list of the broken links so now how can you uh dictate broken links broken links will tell you some of your pages that is like re redirecting to a particular page there's no more working and most of the uh broken links also happens for example most of them they are pointing to your website later you remove that content or maybe the, from the place um let's say for example let me show you guys what i mean by that if i move to this particular website for example now you can see that this backlink is lost it's no more pointing to let me tell you guys one thing i just explained at the beginning of this video if you paid attention that at that particular time and you did not skip it i said something if you skip back lead to you are going to understand what i said i said most times the link that is giving you link juice four months ago is still giving you link juice. but once google do an update google will now recognize that the link that they're using to reward your website is no longer pointing to your website it will cause your traffic from dropping most times you are not against google it's not that you are against uh google guideline or you're doing anything against google guideline most of the link juice that is pointing to you are no longer pointing but google is still rewarding you with that link juice the only thing that is going to happen is after the google update they will now find that those links are no more pointing to you they are going to withdraw their link juice back that's just the method here so aside, aside from that you can easily copy down these ones this list of broken links and give google to also this vow that's also good or you ignore but the most important thing i want to show you guys again is to install this broken link checker on your website this will also help you to dictate most of the broken link within your home page i told you guys if you have watched several of my video where i teach about um seo link building i told you that the first link you need to start building is internal linking internal linking will increase your opportunity of uh, ctr so a lot of people will come to your website and also find interested to go to another content and if you push back link to a uh, one particular content that is linking to content b the link juice that is pointing to content a will still spread down to content b so the most important thing here is to what install a broken link checker to dictate most of your internal linking if most of them are broken with this you can easily fix them and regain back your ranking again so aside from that we also have another thing we need to check after we check our broken links check our toxic links and fix them and check the ones we have the broken links we have from external that is coming from another website to our own we can take them off by taking up taking them out from our list after taking them out from our list we can easily take 
some of the broken links in within our website and fix it and then take off those uh, spamming toxic backlink which I'm going to show at the end of this video how to disavow them manually the next thing we're going to move is to check our home page where we are getting it wrong and how to re-optimize our website let's go the second thing you need to do to recover from Google code update this recent update the second thing you need to do is what they call content on page checking which is the on page SEO checker now if you can get this feature from SEMrush or HS have on page SEO checker it will help you to know exactly what you are doing wrong within your web page and some of the semantic SEO keyword that is missing and if you look very closely here this is the total information we need to fix and now this is the content we need to fix how many contents we need to fix this is the semantic keyword we need to include and this is the type of backlink we need to add up to our website but before that to create this kind of project you just need to come to home page SEO checker under uh, SIMBRUSH and then create a uh, project so once you click create project, you have opportunity to put your domain URL, which is your domain.com or your name.com, depending on your domain name and the project name here. Once you add it up, you start creating project. These things will scan your home page and tell you your problem. If you watch to the end, remember what I promise you, I'm going to be showing you how to disavow those links that you found in your website that is making your website to have issue, how to disavow them manually from Google console so the next thing we're going to do is to click our project after scanning now this will give us different idea how to fix some of our web page which is our on page ACO fix it very well to bounce back so the main thing we're going to do if you look very closely here this one have over nine idea to fix so we have over nine idea to fix on this particular URL so if I click this nine idea okay now these are the list of the issues we need to fix within content and this is one of the things we need to fix within the content the keyword that is missing how to give a good strategy about them and if you want to find out how to do a proper on page SEO checking you can easily check one of my video on YouTube how I talk about how to do on page optimization so in that case uh, if you also want to know more about semantic keywords you can also check my video i'm going to leave a link to those videos so to learn how to do semantic keyword research and how to do semantic optimization which is on page optimization in semantic way so in that case these are just the keyword that is missing within uh your web page which is the, this particular url this particular content so if you want google to start rewarding you you need to optimize your own page and do it with the best practice and this is the keyword that is missing you can easily read them if you want want to understand how to do this check the video i'm going to leave it in, below the description of this video which is on page aco checking how to optimize your own page so if you scroll down very well here this is the list of the backlink where they are recommending you to get backlink in most times i've told you several that getting backlink from one of the places your computers are getting backlink may be very expensive for you uh to get a good backlink uh, you need to also use SIMbrush, which I've already told you guys. I'm going to leave a link to that video. It's going to show you how to build backlink using SIMbrush to get free backlink and also paid backlink. It's going to be 50 50 chances that you're going to get it free or paid, and most of them are going to be genuine backlink because these are links that have been analyzed by SIMbrush, and you can easily get in contact with those people that have that link and reach out to them and get a referral backlink now in that one that one should be aside after you check the problem how to fix your on page issue things you need to do the task which is the idea tax which is the, what we just saw right now we need to fix and if you check very well you're going to see other pages that you need to fix the same issue it's quite easy to do and the next thing we are going to do is what they call content audit after the content audit, audit i'm going to show you guys how to disavow your backlink manually okay the next thing we're going to do after we fix this particular one you can go back to check other pages that have similar issue and fix them once you fix them your traffic is going to bounce back and because one thing i want to ensure you that they are going to tell you exactly what you need to fix and the type of backlink that need to point to that content to rank and this is the reason why i like 
uh, SIMbrush home page ACO checker. It's going to tell you what you need to fix, give you alternative to those things, and also tell you where to get a referral backing that is going to help you to boost your traffic. So the next thing we're going to talk about is content audit. So content audit will help you to do what they call content audit and optimize your website back. So to do content audit, we're going to click content marketing. Under content marketing, we can just click content audit. With this, you can be able to add your project and allow these tools to do what they call content audit for you. Right now, this is going to take more than one hour to run a quick content audit because the content of this website that I want to run with text and show you guys how to do it is very large. If your website is that is that uh, slow, maybe, sorry, is that uh, small, you don't have much content, it's going to be very easy to load up. So after this, after uh, adding up your website, you're going to see alternative how to re-optimize some of your content, which is going to be very, uh, very helpful for you to know what exactly you need to fix. Now, after reading, you can easily connect to Google Analytics and also connect to Google Console to find what exactly you need to fix some of your pages that need to be optimized and the things that is losing or maybe they are missing in your content strategy so let's move and learn how to disavow the link as i promised after getting those thoughts the link how to disavow them in google console and with these you're going to be guaranteed that your traffic is going to bounce to disavow link manually and bounce back from google code update this video i've already walked you in several steps which you can be able to use to recover from google code updates which is quite easy and beginner easily understandable so the next thing you're going to do here is to come to this url which is um, search.google.com uh, slash search console slash disavow links this will help you to disavow most of the spamming backlink which is paid link most of those paid link that simbrush dictate as a spamming links but please before you disavow any link check very well that if those people who are your competitors are really ranking well and still have that link in their profile you should consider not to do that but if you check very well most of your competitors don't really have that links and this is the reason why i tell, I tell most people when google update happens you should focus on re-optimizing your content first the second thing you should do is to check the broken links within your website and the next one to move is to start doing off-page disavowing backlink you, you know optimizing your off-page with digs you can easily by that time a lot of people some of your competitors may submit their link profile and google may take it off from their profile you can easily dictate that using SEMrush to know exactly the links that is pointing to your computer but if you're going to give me your time i'm also going to show you how to check your computer this uh, most of their toxic link but it's still the same way you check your own toxic link you can easily copy someone x link and just their domain name and paste it and check their list of toxic link if their list of toxic link is more than their, your your own and still they are still ranking you need to do a little adjustment to your content optimization which is your home page and your internal linking and more backlink to your profile so the next thing we're going to pick the property we want to disavow for example if we pick the property remember we have already copied down the toxic link and put it in uh in folder which is put it in notepad and save it so we're going to upload it the list it may take time for google to pick interest to do that so but once you submit your links or maybe you build some spamming link from fiber you can easily submit it to google it may take three months to two months for google to pick interest to do that but once you upload it google have picked it in as uh, google have picked it as a record that you have submitted a spamming link and they're going to review it with time and then take it off from your profile and see you guys in my next video if you have any question to ask me within google updates or maybe anything concerning how to make money online i'm ready to reply as soon as possible see you guys bye